What's going on guys, United Gaming back with another MLU Show 22 video and in today's video we are going to be talking about my roster update predictions for the 7-15 roster update, the last roster update before the All-Star break and I feel like we're going to have a ton of new upgrades and I'm super excited but if you are excited as well, as well please hit that like button and subscribe, best support channel by far. A lot of you guys that watch your videos are not subscribed so I'd appreciate it if you would do that. So let's get into it. Basically, I like to go tier by tier when I do my roster update predictions, and I like to give them a rating, a high, low, or a medium. A high means I think they have a good chance to go up. A low more so means long-term investments. A medium, I'm kind of on the defense about. So, let's get into it. First guy, Shane McClanahan. He is a high. He's been pitching out of his mind this season. I'm surprised he's in a 90-plus already. Just had three good outings, and I just he's got to go 90-plus here. There's no way he doesn't in my mind. He could be a guy that could easily go 90 plus. He's having a great season. Next guy, Justin Verlander, also having a great season, especially coming after coming off after injury, having another amazing year. He is just um, he's just been so good this season. He's gotta go up, in my opinion, no doubt in my mind. Here's a controversial guy, Garrett Cole. So I actually have him in the high category. Maybe this is part of my Yankee bias. But he has had so many good outings in a row. The only person that's got to him is Rafael Devers. If you take out Rafael Devers' stats, then Garrett Cole has been the best pitcher in over the past few starts. He's been very, very good. Just pitched very good against the Reds. He pitched very well to the Red Sox except for Devers. So I still really hope SDS overlooks that. Gives him that plus two to go 90 plus. I have him at high, but realistically he could be a medium. Let's keep going, taking a look here. I'm going to keep going, see if I got anybody. We got Luis Robert. He is in the low category. He has been, he's been hitting very, very well. I don't, I think he's more of a long-term guy. If he keeps it up, he can maybe get up to 90 plus. I'm not sure though. He's more in the low end. We got Carlos Rodon. He's starting to pick it up again after a little mid-season blip. Doing amazing. I have him in the low category just because in 85 overall, he's not going up five overall points. More of a long-term type of guy. Same with Freddie Freeman. He's starting to get comfortable in LA. He's starting to hit better. Long-term type of guy. He can get up there eventually. It's not going to be this roster update. Same here with Devers. Obviously, had that monster game versus Garrett Cole. Obviously, could get there, but not going to be this roster update. More of a long-term guy. So, that's all the 90 pluses. There's not much to talk about for most of the 90 pluses, guys. Let's go on to the guys that I think could have a chance to go diamond. Using the same grading scale here, our first guy is going to be Will Smith. I have him in the medium category. He had a home run last night. I'm not 100% sold on him. He's been great. Don't get me wrong. I'm just not 100% sold on him. I don't think SDS has ever made him a diamond. I think they're a little on the fence about making him a diamond. I'm just not 100% sold on it. It could happen. I think he deserves it. I have him in the medium nonetheless. Same with Max Reed. I'm not 100% sold on him. He's been okay over his last couple of outings. He's been a little bit, he's been above average, but he has not been superstar-ish. He's been pretty good, not superstar -ish. I'm just not 100% sold on him. He's a medium. Same with Vols Contreras. He has slowed down a little bit. Uh, he's in the medium category. SES could obviously give him a bump, be generous. I don't think they're going to do that. I could actually see them downgrading him this roster update because he's not been playing at the same level over the last 15 days or so than he has previously. There we go. We get, moving on, we got Zach Wheeler. I am in the high category. There's no way that SDS ignores Zach Wheeler. He's been so good this season. He has to go 90 plus. I'm surprised it wasn't rock last roster last roster update. But he's been so so good this season. SDS, you just gotta bump bump one. It's not that hard. Ryan Hesley, I actually have him as going up. I have him in the high category. He's been locked down this year for the Cardinals. He's been amazing. I know they just had the Cardinals had a little bit of a blow up last night. I don't even know if he was a part of that, but you know, whatever. Ryan Hesley, he's been amazing. He's been so good in the season. I am in the high category. Next, we got Sandy Alcantara. I don't know how this guy is in a diamond already. He's having, having probably the best pitching season of his entire career, probably the best pitching season this entire year. He's not a diamond yet. S yes, he, he's he, Sandy Alcantara is going diamond. If they don't, we're all going to San Diego and we're starting a riot. Next, we got Clay Holmes. He has had a rough couple of outings. Uh, obviously, that outing versus Boston, it wasn't great, but he didn't even do that bad. Uh, obviously, he had a meltdown versus the Reds. That was horrible. He had an absolute meltdown versus the Reds. And last night, saves versus the Reds was not as clean either. I don't think they'll upgrade him this update to a diamond. I have him in the medium category just because he's kind of blowing up a little bit. I still think he's great. 
I still think he'll go up to an 84, but I don't think they're going to give him the plus two as they normally would if he didn't blow up against the Reds. So that's just my opinion. I watch Yankee games. I know how this guy's been pitching. He's not a diamond. Anyway, moving on. Next cut. Let's look for our next guy. I got a list here. Do I? No, I do not have you. Uh, Brandon Woodruff. I have him in the low category. He's starting to pitch very, very well. I am more of a long-term type of guy. He's been pitching very, very well. Just keep an eye on him. Take an eye on his stats. Maybe he can be a guy you can invest in and go 90-plus later down the line. All right, let's keep going here. I got to keep looking at my list, backtracking. Juan Soto, he's been picking it up as of late. He has been amazing lately. After a rough start of the season, getting downgraded all the way to a gold, I think he has potential to go back up to a diamond. I've actually invested a little bit into him in case he does go back up to a diamond, you know, if I make some stops. I have him in the medium category, not 100% sold on Soto, but I do think he has a solid chance of getting there. All right, let's keep going, taking a look at the list. Let's just keep scrolling down. Emmanuel Class A, I don't actually, he's not actually on my little chart here, but he's been pitching amazing. I think he's in the median category just because he's not going up plus three. Stop. Robbie Ray, he's pitching amazing as of late. He's just been so, so good as of late. Like, it's been amazing. He's starting to pick it up. He's starting to look like he did last year. Having the long-term type of guys. Same with the next guy, Tony Goslin. Been pitching amazing all year. He's not going up this roster. If he's a long-term type of guy, if you think he'll go diamond later down the line. Marcus Simeon also starting to pick it up this year. He's pitching. I mean, he's playing a lot, lot better. I have him in the low category as well. Another long-term type of guy. And I think I actually missed someone in the... I actually think I missed one guy, if I'm not mistaken. I think I missed him. Where is Ramon Laureano? Or talk about... I, whatever. I can't find Ramon Laureano, but Ramon Laureano, I have him in the medium category. He's been hitting a ton of bombs recently, but he's not had that contact stroke. Maybe STS gives it to him. Maybe they don't. He's an 83 overall. I don't know where he is. I can't find him. I, maybe I'm just blind, but I, I don't see him. I, I might be stupid, but it's 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 okay. I don't he's not here. Whatever. Doesn't matter. He we, we we know we know who we're talking about. Anyway, we're gonna move on to the final section, and that is the guys that I think are going to go gold. Starting things off, we got Julio Rodriguez. He's been playing out of his mind recently. It's the same with the Mariners. They've all been playing amazing. He's gotta go gold. He might even go up to like an 82, 83. If FCS is really generous, but he's been playing so well recently. Just clear for a home run derby as well. He's been so good. He's definitely going gold. I have him in the high category. Same with Spencer Schrider. He's been pitching so well this season. Been a really fun story. Got that beautiful mustache. Not as good as some other players, but it's still pretty good. I'm not going to lie. He's definitely going gold. There's no doubt on my mind that he is going to be going gold. We're going to keep moving on. We got to keep looking at guys. I don't remember everyone on my list because I have the worst memory on the planet. But it's it's okay. Let's just keep. I don't think any ins and needs overall. Let's just you know we'll just cut until we find someone. Here's somebody I want to talk about. Corey Seager. He has been smacking the baseball like crazy, hitting tons of homers. He's supercharged right now. I have him in the medium category because he's a 77. I don't see know if he's going up plus three. We can't. Uh, we can look at his base attributes here. They're gonna have to be generous with the power versus righties and the contact if they want to give him up. But that's just my opinion. He's been playing so well. I mean, he's just been so good. He's been smacking the ball. He's starting to be that signing that the Rangers thought he could be. Let's keep going on. I know I got some more guys in this category. Let's just see. Jorge Polanco, he's starting to pick it up recently as well. I don't think he's more of a long-term type of guy, but I have him in the medium category. He's like a medium long-term guy. He, he's someone you want to look out for. Let's keep going. We got Fran Valdez. He's pitching very well for the Astros. Like all the Astros pitchers, they're pitching so well. Having the medium category. Not sold on plus three, but he's been so, so good this year that you can't really ignore him. Now we got two more guys left. Now each, as you know, we got three more guys left. We got Kyle Schwarber here. I have him in the high category despite him being a 76. He's been playing so incredibly well. I don't even know what stats they could boost, and that's the problem. I have him in the high category, but I don't know what stats they can boost because they can't boost the power of his righties anymore. And they're going to have to boost some of the contact numbers, but he's been playing so well to not be a gold, in my opinion. He's just playing too well to not be a gold. So let me keep looking for that final guy that I have on my list. And here he is, Tywin Walker. Have him the long-term type of guy. He's pitching super well as of late, being what the Mets want him to be. Long-term type of guy. He's a 76. Not been playing as crazy as Schwarber. He's been playing very well. If you want to sit on him to go gold, this is a good guy to buy right now. 235 stuff. And we got one more guy, and I'm going to have to filter for this one because this one's a little bit low down there. 
it's gonna be call me biased on this one but you know got gotta include the legend Matt Carpenter Matt Carpenter has been so amazing this season he's been hitting so so well that you know maybe there's a slight chance he goes gold I don't think so but there's no doubt in my mind he's got to go silver maybe maybe SES is super generous and make him go gold they probably won't make him go plus 14 to go gold but in case they do I have 182 of him so if they do I'll be making a pretty penny not gonna lie but my carpenter's just Matt Carpenter's been so good this season he's been hitting the baseball he has not stopped hitting the baseball well he, I just yeah you gotta keep you gotta keep out well, eye out for him he's been so so good this year like you never know how generous SDS will be because they've got a lot of numbers to boost here because he's been playing well above the attributes that he has Anyway, that's going to do it for today's roster of predictions. If you did enjoy, please consider hitting that like button and subscribe to the Best Sports Channel by far. I'm your game to say next one. Peace. Thank you so much for watching.